I don't know. I've lost track of time. It's just between you and I, right? That thing's not on, is it? Um, destroyed. Finally, here we are at the start for the road to Mont Blanc. We've got a thousand kilometers, definitely the biggest ride I've ever considered undertaking. Yeah, about 21 climbs and just over 23,000 meters of climbing. So uh, yeah, whatever happens, it's gonna be epic. Uh, I just can't wait to get started now. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Number five. So uh, I say it's uh, about eight and a half k. First one over 2,000 is really tough gradient. It's like double figures almost the whole way up. You know, 13 percent. So yeah, I've been going 122 k. So just trying to stay relaxed and. About uh, probably 100, and maybe 145k in the legs. We've been going just over seven hours. Time for the night, so yeah, it's uh, starting to get pretty serious now. in the valley so it's a bit warmer I'm just trying to stay positive That valley leading up to the Stelvio in the rain was just absolute purgatory. It went on forever and like just took so much energy. There's just no chance to recover. And uh, 
Yeah, this climb just is, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten percent. We've got about 5k to go. And, uh, yeah, it looks the weather looks like it's improved quite a lot, so I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that it gets a bit warmer today. I'm gonna try and recover a bit. At the moment, it's just pure survival. Highest uh, road pass in Italy, 2,757 meters. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's the slowest I've ever climbed that climb. That's like, a, I've, at least I've got a personal record. It's not for the right reasons, but yeah, it's absolutely, that was so hard. I was dead before I even started it and then, After the uh, Stelvio, and then it warmed up a bit on the Gavia, and then in the valley there. Yeah, I think I'm solar powered. I feel pretty respectable at the moment, so see how long that lasts to keep my fingers crossed so uh, probably got about I don't know eight or nine K to the top it's a big 30 K climb so be good to tick this one off Probably that one. You know, it's a blue sign, and if you look on the Garmin, it follows it right next to it. Bah écoute, pas mal. Si on arrive à se retrouver entre le vert et le bleu. Ah, that's a dead end. That's the highway that goes next to the highway. Trial and error. Second night is. First time I've ever yeah, ridden two nights on the trot, so uh, what have we got? We've been out 37 hours and I'm still moving, still in the game. Second dawn, born again.
So we've just uh, crested the Newfoundland. We've got two climbs to go, so 19 done, two and a half thousand meters. Once again, met with a cheeky headwind. Yeah, still got to save a little bit back, but um, it's a really nice day and it's warm, so um, get some energy from that. I've just got to take it easy on this descent. Don't do anything stupid and long valley section and yeah, feeling good. About 2k from the top of the four clouds. So, still got the Montets after this, but from what I can see on the profile, it's gradual. So, yeah, this one's good because it's out of the wind. It was the uh, valley section that nearly uh, put me in a box. It was just relentless. So, see sort of big wind turbines at the side of the road, it sort of doesn't take a genius to work out what's going on there. Well, the biggest fear which, uh, that I had really was the double night. Um, there was two moments where I had slight hallucinations uh, on the second night. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, I've only had that once before and just the most bizarre feeling and I was just struggling and struggling and struggling and you know the Stelvio was just, uh, I mean, yeah, I was practically falling off the bike at times just through uh, through the just just feeling so tired through the cold and uh, and when we hit the Benina at 500k I thought uh, things were hopefully going to get mentally easier but uh, then we had a headwind for practically the whole way so um, uh, it's just mind games I think physically if the body is there then uh, you know, I train so hard for it and uh, I'm just learning more about my capabilities and, and mental mental strength I just wanted to do it I just had to finish I, there was never a question, I just, there was never a question in my mind that I was gonna, like, even on the Stelvio, it was like, there's no way I'm gonna not do this. Uh, the only way that, we, the only way I don't do it is, uh, is if I crash out and uh, I physically, someone has to put me in the back of a car and it's like, you can't move. Uh, faultless, no punctures, no mechanicals, um, use one bike throughout and, um, yeah, here we are. <laughs> I can't quite believe that we made it to, uh, to Mont Blanc, Chamonix, and uh, uh, yeah, it's a dream come true.